Ever since I was a kid, I have always wanted a real Spider-Man web shooter. Well, today, I am one step closer to that dream. Because with the help of today's sponsor, PCBWay, I made my very own custom Spider-Man web shooters. I'll show you more about their easy to use website and all of their manufacturing capabilities later in this video. So stick around for that. Okay, full transparency, these web shooters are not actually shooting real webs. Yet. I am making this a two-part series where part one, this video, will be all about the design of the shooter itself, and part two will be all about developing the actual web fluid. Before I start to develop that web fluid, I wanted to make sure I had a solid concept of a wrist-mounted launcher that can shoot a liquid. And in this case, our liquid is water. So let's get into how I designed this water shooter. Now I've made a web shooter in the past, but in my opinion, it really wasn't in the true spirit of Spider-Man. It was basically just a string attached to a magnet. And this is a very popular type of web shooter, but while it looks super sick, it just didn't have that Spider-Man feel in my opinion, and I was never really satisfied with it. Honestly, it felt more like a grappling hook. So I decided to take the next step and look into an actual fluid shooter. And the first thing that came to my mind was of course, water guns. I mean a web shooter is basically a much smaller and much stronger water gun. So I did some serious groundbreaking research into the different kinds of water gun technologies. And after playing around with a few different types, I decided to go with a constant pressure system, or CPS for short. Now at its most basic form, this kind of system involves inflating a rubber bladder with water. Like this balloon for example. So I'm going to take this syringe filled with water, and we are going to pump water into this balloon. And now the pressure in this system is coming from that elasticity of the balloon pushing on all that water. So when you open up the end of this bladder, you get water shooting out. Obviously, a real CPS system would have a few more mechanical parts to better control this system, but I'll show you specifics in just a bit. So now that we have the basic physics out of the way, let's turn this into this. As I was designing the web shooter, one thing I really wanted to have was easily replaceable cartridges. Here's your web cartridges. Oh, thanks, man. What's that for? Uh, it's my web fluid, it's for my web shooters. I think the replaceable cartridges really adds a sort of rugged, mechanical feel to it, which I love. So as I started sketching out some ideas, I was heavily inspired by the Spider-Man Homecoming design, mainly because its longer form factor allows a cartridge to seamlessly fit into it. So after some design work, I ended up with this very basic system, which includes a main valve that this cartridge connects to using some quick disconnect fittings. And with the push of a button, we get a nice stream of water shooting out. But of course, we can't just duct tape this to our wrist, we need to build a body that makes this thing look like an actual web shooter. And this is where the amazing PCBWay comes into play. Now PCBWay offers a variety of different products and services, from printed circuit boards to CNC machining and sheet metal work, but for my specific project, I took advantage of their top of the line 3D printing services. All I had to do was upload my 3D models to their website and I'm able to get fast quotes with accurate delivery times. Now one of the best parts about their 3D printing services is that they have a variety of printing processes as well as different materials. For my web shooter, I wanted something a little bit more robust than your typical PLA filament. So I got my parts quoted in a high precision resin material for some extra strength. And in addition to that, PCBWay was able to do surface finishing on these parts, so I had them spray paint these black and red in typical Spider-Man fashion. I received the parts within a week, and the quality of these pieces was absolutely perfect. I mean, I did not see a single flaw on these parts. The convenience of getting perfect quality and finished 3D prints was an incredible experience, and you should absolutely consider PCBWay for your next project. So now that we have all of our parts for this web shooter, let's start building this bad boy. Here is what a finished cartridge looks like. You can see that there are two different sized tubes, but the important part is that the fitting on the end stays the same. This allows the cartridge to be interchangeable regardless of the length of the tube. If we look inside, you'll see this rubber tube that's plugged off at the end, and this essentially acts as our balloon that holds all of the pressure of the water. In normal use, we would inflate this tube while it's inside of the cartridge, but just for a visual, I'm inflating this tube outside of the cartridge, and you can see that rubber tube expanding. I use this syringe to force water into the rubber bladder, and with the use of this one-way check valve, I can prevent water from coming back into the syringe and make sure it stays inside the bladder. So those are the finished cartridges, let's start building the body of the web shooter.
And after just about an hour of assembly time, I have two absolutely gorgeous Spider-Man web shooters. While these web slash water shooters are pretty cool and follow some very basic principles of physics and engineering, changing our fluid from water to a web-like material is definitely going to present some new challenges. For example, will the web fluid be too thick and end up clogging the valve? Or will the web fluid be too sticky to flow through the syringe to fill up the cartridges? Maybe this rubber bladder cartridge design won't even work for a web fluid. Well, these are all questions that I'm hoping to have the answers to in part two. Keyword, hoping. For now, we're just gonna have fun with version 1.0 of this PropWay web shooter.